Hey everyone, today we're going to go over case swarming. So we're going to go over the first step. All right, so for the first step we're going to do is we're going to create a workspace. I've created a new Gmail account and I've logged out of my default Gmail account. If if you're having trouble, just make sure you're logged into one or use a new browser um, with your test account. Um, what I find is when I create a workspace, okay, wow, it remembers me, that is freaky. Uh, let's just keep going. Continue with Google. We'll do this one. Create a workspace. Okay, it's not on that email. That's good. What's the name of your company or team? Let's just call this um, example. Hopefully, we can change that. And Q4. Skip the step. Okay, so now I've got E for example, and the reason why I used a new Gmail account is because if I want to work on this with someone else and there's no login information for Slack, they're going to have to use the Gmail account to get in, and I definitely don't want that to be my personal Gmail account. Um, so if you're going to be working on this project with someone else, just create a new Gmail account, that way they can get in. All right, on to the next steps. So what we're gonna do next is we're going to open up Slack API and we're going to create a new app from scratch and I will call it case swarming. And we will choose our example workspace, create app. The first thing that you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to go to basic information and take this signing secret and copy it into signing secret. And then you're going to want to go to OAuth and permissions. Hmm, wonder where it is. It should be there. Is she connecting the app to workspace? Okay, let's do an incoming webhook first. On um, add new webhook to workspace. Do action slack allow. Okay, copy that and put that value well we'll come back to it later um let's go back here okay now now we got it so copy that and put it in token now save it and do node index index.js now we're going to add some OAuth scopes. Now I've got this GitHub here and I've got some permissions that you're going to need. So let's do channels history, channels join, channels manage, channels read. I am history and chat right. Okay, that should be good. And let's go to event subscriptions. Turn that on. And 
and you're going to want to put this link in there. So your node server with slash slack slash events, click out of it. Verified means it's working. Subscribe to bot events. Do channels, message.channels. A message was posted to channel. That's what we want. Save changes. Please reinstall your app. Let's reinstall it. Action Slack, allow. Okay, our app should be there. So we got some case swarming. And let's add them case swarming. Let's add them over here. Add to channel. And if we post a message, warn signature mismatch. Uh, okay, we, we've got another app running there. That's probably what it is. So this is good. So we're picking, we're picking up the message that we're putting in there. And it's falling into app.event message. And we're looking for something called create channel to go in. And that way we can create our channel and add information to it. So let's see what the next one is. Okay, um, in your remote site settings, so set up security remote site settings, um, you're gonna wanna add hooks.slack.com, which reminds me, let's go back to webhooks. Let's copy our webhook and put it into our Apex code, our Slack controller, because we've got a new endpoint now. And let's test it out. Let's see what happens. Okay. So I'm going to change this to medium. Nothing should happen. Let's change it to high. All right, something has happened. So we've got a new channel description of case just to see it work and we've added Amanda's amp to it and we could add more people if we wanted and if we look into slack or action slack um, from salesforce we posted this uh, string over create channel what we wanted it the users that we want to add and then the description just to see it work and if you want to find this value for the users you want to add, just click Amanda's AMP. Actually, it might be better just to click here. View full profile, and then do copy member ID to get that um, ID. And to talk about the code more, um, so what I'm doing here is I made a metadata type, and I'm adding users to it that I want in my channel and I'm making a request with that webhook and then I'm making my string here and then I'm sending it over and then I have this trigger here if it's high create a case in slack so that is how you do case swarming and look at um, github for more information and screenshots on how to do it